Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airman and Tarot. Today we're going to do your mid-February general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So Taurus, I picked up a lot of messages for you guys in your, before, um, you know, as I was doing your pre-shuffle. The song that I heard was started from the bottom by Drake. I will leave the links to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. A lot of messages for you guys. So first thing, there's for a group of you all, I feel like I'm hearing hierarchy, a chain of hierarchy. Um, I feel like some of you guys were in relationships having to deal with a bit of a mama's boy for the females or, you know, if you date the same sex. Somebody is a mama's boy and it's like you finally, this person finally realized where you should be sitting in this relationship because I get that there was a bit of a, a battle. I'm going to tell you, okay, you guys know I always shuffle the deck either way it goes on camera so this isn't anything staged with this, but I will tell you, often I'm guided to look at the first couple of cards. You got the five of pentacles, you got the queen of cups, you have the empress, which will be your energy also, and then you have the um, um, star card. I'm just getting, look at this combination, okay? And I like this. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm getting started from the bottom. Five of Pentacles is a card of lack, heavy lack and abundance. And then you end it with the Ace of Pentacles. And you see how she's looking in the direction of the Ace of Pentacles? But it's like you had to go through some type of trials for this. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, notice right here you got three strong female presences. You have a queen right here. You have an empress right here. And then you have, you know, that angelic spiritual energy, but they're all strong female energies. And I feel like, you know, literally this person made you feel like you are inferior to another. I'm picking up for some of you all. And then for others, I'm picking up that you may be involved in a relationship where you were with this person when they had little to nothing. And now all of a sudden, you know, you two have built this this foundation with each other because this is a very strong card of um strong solid foundations with the ace of pentacles and this also aces are always something new so i'm just really this is really standing out to me right here okay this this these main three strong female feminine energies okay i feel like some of you all have been through the ringer with someone but it's like you're finally at a point where you feel like there's respect because i'm going to tell you if you were dealing with a situation where you felt like this person was a mama's boy and they put the mother before you. I feel like something is about to shift in your favor where you're finally getting the acknowledgement, not even just from this person, from your love interest, but their mother also. Because I feel like it's a strong energy of a mother. I don't know. I never get it with this card. But it's, it's almost as you look at her right here. Mm, okay. So I'm also getting that some of you all may be finding out you're pregnant or just had a baby recently. And that may be what it took for this person, this mother figure, to kind of get out of the way and stop butting her nose in your business. I'm getting that very strongly for some of you all, okay? So, you guys know, as always, I'm going to part the deck, change the card at the top and the bottom for both decks. And both decks are completely upright. There are absolutely no reversals. <laughs> okay, so you got a king. Of pentacles right here. Then you got a king of cups. You just had the queen of cups. And then look what's wanting to show itself. The eight of wands. I'm telling you, fast moving communication. Something coming out of blue. If there was a mother figure involved and all in your business. Constantly in your business. Always having something to say. This person could be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus. Also, you may get an unexpected text. Because keep in mind, we are currently in Mercury retrograde. So people who say, no, this person will never say stuff like that. You never know. Mercury retrograde really makes people think differently. Because Mercury involves the communication and also the thought processes, okay? And I feel like somebody's going to come towards you and speak to you in a way that you're not expecting. But I feel like it's going to be for the good. I really, I'm really, i really getting that. Because I feel like somebody is starting to boss up. And this definitely makes me think about a mama's boy also. I don't know why I always get a mama's boy vibe from this also, but I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a mama's boy. I really do feel like that's the case. But I feel like he's going to finally boss up and stand up to this mother. And this person knows that they want to be your partner long term because you are pinnacles. And I feel like this person wants to be your king or your queen, okay? Again, no revert. Yep, ace of wands. Somebody is more, feeling more powerful, more passionate. They're going to offer something major. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. They want to build with you, work together. And I feel like there was too many people in the mix in the first place, Taurus, is what I'm getting. Like there may have been someone who felt like they had some type of say-so in your relationship. And that's going to come to an end is what I'm getting. Okay. 
So as always, we're going to shuffle the deck upright three times until we get the major arcana for your sign, which would be the hair font. We'll get the card that comes before, the card that comes after, and we'll get clarifiers for both. And then that will be the message for you guys today as we part the deck. Okay, some of you all were very heartbroken and distraught in the past or possibly even in the current feeling as though this person was not standing up for you. That's all I'm getting from this. I'm not getting that like some type of breakup. And if there was a breakup, I'm feeling like it was more so an idea of it because you felt like, you know what, I may have to turn my back. You see how her back is facing him? I may have to turn my back on this individual because I feel like they're not defending me. They don't see me as their partner. They're putting other people before me, okay? Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Summer Rising, Venus individual, another Earth sign like yourself, another Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, Summer Rising, Venus, okay? Four of Swords, pull back and retreat. I feel like this person, I'm telling you, I feel like Mercury Retrograde has really had an effect on your person. Four of Swords for me is to pull back, retreat, go within, meditation, prayer, um, reflecting, self-reflection at that. Okay, so you just have three of Swords, now you have a four of Swords at the top of the deck. You literally have the Swords are down. For me, when the Swords are down, that means no. Swords communication, also the mental. So I feel like this person may have shut down for a minute so you don't know what's coming from this person, that's why you had the Eight of Wands. You don't you don't know what's coming from this person, but I feel like this person is, is going to show some type of appreciation for you and it's going to catch you so off guard. I definitely feel like it's going to happen within this Mercury Retrograde time, okay? And again, Mercury Retrograde ends February 20th. So let's see. Look, yeah, look at this. The second card. Love is card. Absolutely. This person loves you. This person, yep. Mm, okay. So this person loves you, but look at that. Right now, they're the Page of Cups. Mommy's boy. They are just quiet. They're silent. They have all this love for you, but they're just quiet and they're silent. And I feel like it has to do with another strong female figure. I'm also here for some of you all. The other female figure is if they have a child with another woman, that's the issue. And it's not because they're still in love with this woman. They're scared that it's going to be an issue with their children. So they're trying to be peaceful, but then in doing so, it's putting you on the back burner is what I'm getting. Can't make this up. That child right in the middle of it. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's something to do with a child for some of you all. And for others, it has to do with um, a mother figure is what I'm getting. Because keep in mind, it's cups, so that's also mother, motherly in, um, energy as well. So let's get the hair font, the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And you guys are all, we're almost halfway through the deck and we still don't have the hair font. So I feel like this has been something that's been going on for a while now. Just by the sheer fact that it's towards the back, okay? So you have the hair font right before that, absolutely. The world card, a change is coming, okay? And then right behind it, the seven of swords, wow, okay? And then the three of wands, okay? <laughs> this person knows that they need to make a decision. Um, They've been thinking about it for a while, your person. And I feel like they've decided that it's time for them to turn their back on their old way of doing things, okay? So you have the world card. Some of you all could be thinking about moving away from this relationship, okay? Because the world literally talks about the distance. You and this person could be at a physical distance, but I feel more so like there's an emotional distance because you feel like this person isn't being truthful, okay? And this person is not being truthful. This person has a great deal of love for you, but I feel like they're just trying to play things safe. And I know that's the case because he has one foot in the door and one foot out, okay? And I and I and it's like you you it's interesting because look at how his leg is at this arch and how her leg is at this arch. You're basically like you know you need to make a decision or I'm gonna leave is what I'm getting with this. Mm, and that's major arcana. So let's see what we get for this. Some of you guys can also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. Let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Wow, you got it again. I'm telling you. Okay, so some of you all are thinking about leaving this individual. Also, some of you all can have air sign placements in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be thinking like, okay, I'm going to leave. But then it's, it's something that keeps you in place. Something that's holding you back for some of you all. Wow. Okay. So let's shuffle and let's get a clarifier for the world card. And the seven of swords for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. For some of you all, you feel like this person needs to grow up. I'm, I just heard they need to grow up. That's what I heard. Yeah. Putting in work, time, energy, and effort. The Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the little work. But if you look at this, this person is showing up as a page of Pentacles. Pages, again, something small, okay? But also, pages are always people coming in with messages of communication. There's some type of communication that's going to come through for sure. 
But I feel like this person has not been offering you much. Yeah. Okay, so again, you have this Queen of Swords. So for some of you all, this person, this female figure could be a, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then for others, fire. But I feel like if you look at this combination, you kind of feel like it won't work. You are pentacles. You kind of feel like it won't work because there's another female. I keep saying there's another female in the mix. And you see how her back is turned towards this Eight of Pentacles? There's another female in the mix. Again, it could be a child's mother or also your partner's mother. And they're just kind of creating a distance between you and this individual is what I'm getting. Okay? So let's get a clarify for the world card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay? First card flipped out. The Magician in reverse. The Magician is Major Arcana for Gemini, also Virgo. So someone with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus placement could be involved. But I feel like <clears throat> what I'm getting with this is just like this, because that's exactly what this is. When you have the Magician in reverse, this is someone who's using their gifts and abilities for the negative, being sneaky, being, um, you know, cunning, but in a negative way, somebody who's not being truthful. I feel, mm, okay. So what I'm hearing also, because you got two major icons back to back, so this is a definite energy right now, and it would actually go this way. I feel like this person may even be at a distance kind of having some type of say-so over what's going on in you guys' relationship. This person. Also, you could be telling your person that you're ready to move out of the relationship or move on, but you don't really want to move. You just want this person to change. And that could be a lie also. That you're gonna, you could be threatening this person, telling this person that you're gonna leave. You don't really wanna leave, okay? You don't really wanna leave, but you also want things to change. You don't want things to be the way that they are. Bottom of the deck, yeah, you don't really wanna leave, okay? Because the Knight of Wands was the fastest moving Knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. This one who, because keep in mind, Wands is fire, fire is action, okay? Drive. And this is someone who's literally going for what it is they want. And reverse is like, you don't really want to have to leave. You're just telling this person this so that they can get their act together. Let's get a clarify. Or this could be happening to you also, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the Seven of Swords for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Clarifier for the Seven of Swords, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> so, again, I'm going to say, you keep getting the same card. Look how many cards are in this deck. Okay, you keep getting the same. Ooh, what's at the bottom? Mmm. Yeah, somebody has a okay. Somebody has a great deal of love for someone. You and your person. I feel like I'm hearing love renewed. I keep hearing that. Like emotions are going to be expressed, but because somebody has to be put in their place. That's just hitting. That's just all. Somebody has to be put in their place. Look at this. You literally have the seven of swords, and you have the queen of swords in reverse and she's facing the seven of swords so somebody has to be truthful about the situation i feel like also if you have strong air sign placements in your chart taurus it could be that you need to tell this person directly like i don't like this i don't like the fact that you are allowing other people to dictate and narrate what goes on in our life but i feel like somebody is not sitting on their throne okay because it's in reverse this queen is sitting on her throne up right in reverse, she's not speaking up for herself. So it may need to be that you speak up for yourself also. Male or female, you know how to supply to you. Somebody's not speaking up. And when they do, they're not being completely honest about the situation is what I'm getting. At the bottom of the deck, there's a lot of love there. Some of you all could be dealing with an individual whose first, middle, or last initial is M, W, or T. I'm also seeing C. Um, some of you all can also hear from this person on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or a Wednesday. Okay, is what I'm getting for some of you all as well. Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.